Hello there friends, how are you? Recently I created a pretty cool animation, as you can see this is the animation and it's just finger and some springs. I think this thing is called the spring toy. It didn't perform that well in terms of likes, but it actually got tons of comments of people commenting yes please do a tutorial. So I was like okay okay let's calm down okay I will do it don't worry. In this video I will show you the process from beginning till the end from finding the image then going to photoshop to edit it and then going to after effects to animate it. I'm going to show it to you as a quick process my dear Francidas. So I went to unsplash.com just to find you know some free images and then somehow I stumbled upon this uh, beautiful and stunning image by uh, Brock Wagner. To be honest I wasn't really sure what should I do with the image I just like the image and I thought okay let me just take the image and I will figure out what I can do with it the reason why I picked this image is because the colors here are really nice some red on the face we have some bluish greenish colors and also the cool thing about having these colors here is that we can actually change them to different colors so for example I can make this orange violet or I can make this blue or totally green so that's really good big thanks to this guy Brock Wagner and the model who actually commented on my artwork he said why do you do me like that <laughs> I was scared that he won't like it but he was fine with it he liked the artwork so I'm really happy for that and before I show you the editing process in Photoshop let me just remind you that this video is sponsored by me basically by my learnfromfred.com website where I teach you how to create beautiful stunning artworks for example these are some of the artworks from my students that actually learn from my tutorials and uh, when you go to the website you can choose your path beginner intermediate or professional and according to the path that you choose so for example let's say you're intermediate you will be given a set of class sets that you can complete and basically level up for example here we have photoshop animation bring your images alive and animate anything or here we have 12 creative glitch projects in photoshop secrets revealed you can buy separate classes if you want to or you can actually enroll into membership and get a 50 percent discount and access all classes for just nine dollars for your first month again you get access to all of the classes all of the cool artworks and animations as well all of the assets that you need in order to create those artworks that you can see on my instagram or on my youtube and also number four <laughs> you get me as your personal mentor which mentor which means that in case you have any problems you can just message me and i will be there for you my dear friend so first of all when i was in photoshop obviously the first thing i need to do is to import the image step number Number two is always just to color grading your images for that I'm always using camera raw filter which is a great filter in order to you know give your images some nice colors make it let's say bluish greenish violet and here you can apply any colors that you want but one of the important things that I did here is actually I decreased texture which meant that you know for example uh, if you look now at his face it's pretty smooth if I increase texture it's very detailed that's also pretty cool and I use it in some artworks but I also sometimes decrease it just to make it soft I don't know depends on my mood on what exactly I want I also played a bit with color mix in order to get here this really nice greenish and the pinky colors because as you can see this is like the blue colors and this is the purples so next step I had to separate his head and the body and that's very easy to do you know you can just use any of the selection tools and just do this and photoshop is automatically going to select his head and voila and then you just create mask and boom now you can uh, move his head so anyway as you can see here I did exactly that and I am done with separating the body and the head as the next step I had to create this background here and this background is basically the background without anything and that's very important so that I can move his head to the left right or anywhere else because if you look at the original image so for example in the original image the problem is that uh, when I move the head or uh, somewhere I, I don't know what's behind it you know I need to replace this background with something so that it's not empty for this I had to rasterize my image and all I need to do is just again select uh, the person then go to edit and content aware fill content aware fill basically helps us to automatically fill the selected place and if we just wait a bit let me see if I'm actually recording oh thanks god I was about to kill myself and voila as you can see it's gone almost and uh, you can just click ok and you can just go and you know get rid of the rest on your own by using for example spot healing brush tool and all the other stuff like doing like this and blah 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 so anyway it's a it's a long work so I'm just gonna, gonna skip it I did this and as you can see I also maybe played a bit with the colors and now we've already a step closer 
how a beautiful animation because the body, head separated and also we have the background. Next thing was to get this spring here. I don't know if you can find spiral image on Unsplash. I actually got it from a different website called Elements and Vato, which is a paid website. So, and I will link all of the images, you know, in the description. But keep in mind that when it comes to the spiral, you can use it only in this tutorial. You cannot use it in any other project because it's from paid website. So I think that makes sense. And this was the spire image originally. What I had to do, I actually had to bend it just like a rainbow. And uh, in order to do that, I actually use Puppet Warp tool. So for example, if you go to edit and Puppet Warp, you could just, oops, wait, whoa, 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 okay. Wrong, wrong thing. You could just create here these beautiful points and then you can just bend it. Boom, boom, chicka, boom, 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 chicka, boom, and do whatever you want with it. So anyway, and now you're probably wondering why the hell is there this emptiness inside the spring? And yeah, this thing is called spring. I know spring is also the thing that comes after. Winter, but this is a different spring, okay? So, so basically I also have to create this kind of, it, it's just basically a rectangle, no, you just, you take rectangle tool, you create a rectangle like this, and then again use puppet warp tool to put points on this rectangle and just bend it. <sighs> some whiskey to calm me down. Anyways, you can see I also added here some shadows, you know, basically make it more realistic, so every time we have a line here, as you can see this spring thing, we have a shadow um, below to make it more realistic. And also to give this an effect of roundness, I also added shadow here, if you look, this part and this part are darker than this part, and basically that makes it look like it's rounded and not just flat. And as a last step, I added this underhead thing, uh, which I just called underhead, as you can see. It's basically just a shape that I created using pen tool, and uh, let me just show that to you, my dear friend, see that? so as you can see, this is just a shape, and here I have just a texture, which is, by the way, texture from his face, so I just copied the texture from his face, or oh, using clone stamp tool, and then I just pasted it here, easy. And again, I mean, if you have at least intermediate knowledge about Photoshop, you should understand everything that is happening here. If there are things here that you don't understand, I would just advise you to search for them separately, so for example, if you don't know how to use clone stamp tool, you just go to YouTube and write how to use clone stamp tool in Photoshop and you will get thousands of tutorials, okay? Don't be stupid. Anyway, finally I'm here in After Effects, which is the best tool for animation ever created in the humanity of humanity. I think I said something wrong, but who cares? And uh, as you can see, here is the project. I'm just gonna open it. It's called Spring Person. It doesn't matter if you don't know how to use After Effects, okay? I will just explain you the basic principles behind the animation. First of all, the first thing that I did is just, I just imported all of these objects here in After Effects separately. So for example, as you can see, I have here the head, spring, shadow, slide, which is basically this thing. As you can see also, I put inside this light here a really cool light animation. So basically, let me just show that to you, my dear friends. You see this beautiful video? I actually put it inside his body, not the body, but this thing here. And basically, the way it's done, I'm basically telling After Effects, okay, use this object here as a mask for this video. So for example, and once I do that now, After Effects is going to use this object here as a mask for the video. And now, for example, when I play, it's going to play the video only inside this thing. So it's basically like in Photoshop, we have masks. We also have masks in After Effects. Here you can also see that I imported the uh, body and the uh, background and, uh, and now we have here this spring which is basically the head with this thing attached. And the reason why they're together is because they need to move together. And here also I use Puppet Warp tool. You remember in Photoshop I showed that to you? Huh? Huh? You do? Okay, if you don't remember then please invent a time machine and go back and watch it again, okay? Or you can also just rewind back. I mean, it's up to you. I prefer to choose the difficult way to do things because I'm a monster, okay? And uh, if you want to choose the easy way, then it's up to you, but I would invent a time machine if I were you. Anyway, you choose the spring, and here we have this puppet pin tool. For example, when I choose the puppet pin tool, I can just create points here, so that, let's say here, boom, 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 you know? And uh, another one here, another one here in the head. And now I can actually move these points uh, to the left, right? And After Effects is going to remember that and then it's going to animate it the way I move this. And by doing that, I can actually create pretty cool animations. And the last thing that I forgot, sorry, sorry, okay, uh, is this finger here. And uh, as it's not finger, but it's actually a whole hand. If you look at the hand, boom. It's just a hand that I imported to Photoshop. I deleted the background because it had some kind of white background in order to have only the hand. 
and what basically happens is uh, when I move this spring here to the left for example I also moving the hand so it looks like the hand is pressing mm -bim -bim. also to make it more realistic I added some shadow to the hand some shadow to this whole bo body and also some shadows here when the hand is pressing the head we also you see we have here some little shadow to make it look realistic because when you hit something there's always a shadow behind like if you look at my hand I'm hitting it you'll have a shadow from my finger and that's basically the way it was uh, created and now the very last part is actually the sound and let me actually turn this on so you can hear the sound as you can see it has a pretty cool sound and uh, you know in order to create something really nice if you're creating a video you also need to create a nice sound that gives it just thousand more points and again for sounds i also use this website elements and battle and uh, here i had just some sound effects and for example i can search here for spiral and uh, it's going to show me different spiral sounds that i can use on my video and uh, for this i actually downloaded two uh, sounds let me show this to you my dear friend so this is the first sound as you can see the fun thing is that i don't hear it right now but you probably hear it and then we have here a second one which is also used here and let me it's just a very fast one Bing. And that's how this mm, beautiful thing was created. Make sure to go to learnfromfred.com where you can learn not only Photoshop but also After Effects in case you don't know how to use After Effects, okay? Make sure to subscribe and turn on bell notifications because I'm trying to create here some pretty unique tutorials. Previously I created a tutorial for this pretty cool animation which unfortunately didn't get many views. I don't know why, maybe people, people didn't understand what exactly is this. But if you actually like this animation, you can go to my previous video and see how it was made in a very interesting tutorial. Love you guys. I know you love me too. If you don't, then I will jump from the window. Okay, I have a window here. So don't tempt me.